Good morning guys, Ryan from Tweak My Device. Real quick I want to show you a brand new launcher. It's called the Honeycomb Launcher. Uh, Droid Theory is about to put it in uh, one of the upcoming Unleashed ROMs. Right now the Honeycomb Launcher is in beta stage, so it's quite buggy. And if you're willing to deal with those bugs, force closes, things not working, then by all means go ahead and try it out. But I just want to go ahead and give you a quick run through this morning to show you what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this over WebTop, if you don't mind. And as you can see here, I'm running Launcher Pro Plus. Uh, my traditional setup, uh, the same setup that I've been with as long as I've been with Android. I love Launcher Pro Plus. So in landscape mode, five docs here at the bottom. Can scroll between my screens. There's my newsfeed reader. There's my other screen calendar with Evernote. So we're going to go up here. Now this Honeycomb Launcher is just an APK that you install. Alright. I'm going to tap and switch to that. And there you go. What do you think about that? Looks a lot like Honeycomb to me. It looks a lot like the real thing. We tap up here at Apps. And you've got a vertical scrolling app drawer. Uh, similar to Launcher Pro Plus. Down here you've got a home key. If I tap that again it brings up uh, screen previews. I've got five screens by default and I have not found a way to change the number of default screens. So far there is not a lot of settings that you can do to this honeycomb launcher. Uh, down here is pretty cool. If we tap on the time that brings up a menu we can get to Wi-Fi. So if we tap into that we can get to our Wi-Fi network. Uh, you've got display settings, sounds, Android systems, and keep in mind all this will be customizable. You will be able to put whatever you want to in here. I'm sure the developers that are making this are going to make this as customizable as possible. Um, you can see you've got the nice honeycomb themed Google search up here. Let's just back out of that. Like I said, it is very, very buggy right now. I've had a lot of force closes with it. It's not ready for prime time. Uh, so you can try it out to play with it, but that's really about it. Uh, that goes straight to Wi-Fi. Tapping on the battery icon down here brings up your settings, and you can scroll through that. You can see none of that is themed. But it looks good. It's, uh, it looks very good. They've done a great job with it so far. As you can see, it's very smooth scrolling through the screens. Um, all of that is very nice. This brings up a nice carousel of running apps. Um, so like your browser. Um, if I wanted to tap on that to go into the browser, it gives me several options of which one I want to use. The market. Tap right into that. Again, this is just like a, 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 a quick alt tab uh, if you will helps you get to your apps in a, in a pretty quick way <clears throat> all right let's go back to that and here's a back button um, if we press here in the plus then we can add more widgets more shortcuts all of that good stuff to customize it and one thing right back here I just wanted to show you. If we go in here to the launcher settings, basically you just have these two panels right now to be able to adjust. The launch settings panel gives you a couple of things there to change. Just a, a little bit of customization right now. Not, not much. Not much. But this thing has a lot of potential and I think it will make a very nice launcher replacement. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of people getting on this because it, it looks great. Um, personally, I love this bottom status bar. You do still have the top bar that you can drag down and if I can bring that down for you. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to here. That's it. Uh, this honeycomb launcher looks, looks very good and I would like to see some more customizations available to it, but I'm sure we will see that in the future. Now if we back out of here, 
Uh, I'm going to put a link under the video for you guys to check out, but basically syndicateapps.com, all right? This will bring you to their page. These guys are the developers. Thank them, not me. I'm just showing it to you. It talks a little bit about the Honeycomb Launcher, uh, everything that they want to change, their features included with it, future updates. Um, they have a team of devs that are working on this launcher, and I think they're going to do really, really good things with it. Uh, if you scroll farther down, there's a few issues and solutions here that have been posted up. And if you scroll even farther down, you'll see some screenshots. So that's it. It looks really good right now. I'm excited to use this and, uh, and to see some more development come this way towards the Honeycomb Launcher. And I hope very soon that we'll have this in a full working release and we can integrate it into ROMs with all kinds of custom features and custom themes. It's going to be really good. The Honeycomb Launcher. Get used to it, guys. I think it's going to be around for a little while. And subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.